the other uh, misinformation or misunderstanding is about gluten and cognitive function. Unfortunately, there's an entire movement and a book about gluten and brain health and how bad it is and so on and so forth. Um, there's actually no evidence that gluten is bad for your brain health. As a matter of fact, in the Nurses Health Study, which is one of the largest and the longest running studies in the United States and in the world, where they looked at 13,494 women, followed them for a median of 8.4 years, and they found out that there was no association found between gluten intake and cognitive scores, and that they actually did better. Granted, there are individuals who have celiac disease, and they absolutely have to stay away from gluten. But for non-celiac or non-gluten sensitive individuals who don't have any issues, there's no need for them to avoid gluten. As far as cardiovascular health is concerned, because cardiovascular health is also brain health, you know, the arteries that are in our, in our heart are also in our brain as well. And people could have strokes if they have cardiovascular disease. They found out that in a very large study, again, nurses' health study and health professionals' follow-up study, um, they found out that there was no association between long-term gluc glucose consumption and risk of heart disease. And here's a very important point. The avoidance of gluten may result in reduced consumption of beneficial whole grains. So obviously, if you're avoiding gluten, you're kind of avoiding an entire wonderful category of food, which are whole grains that can provide fiber, and complex carbohydrates, and so many micronutrients, and that affects cardiovascular risk. And unfortunately, nowadays, all the gluten-free products in the market are so highly processed, and they just have a lot of sugar and salt with them, so they're not considered healthy at all. So we shouldn't be promoting gluten-free diets for people who don't have celiac disease or don't have any issues with gluten. I'm speaking about gluten sensitivity, which at the most is about 1% to 3% of the population.